Hello and welcome to Winging It. And we're back again here with another tournament game. This one is from the Elegant Sunbird Scuffle. Uh, we have got an Oceania game coming up here. Uh, we are going first in this one, so we'll jump in. We'll see what we've got to work with in our starting hand for this game. And okay, okay, we've got some interesting options here. Uh, Pink Eared Duck, definitely like that for the start. Being able to draw extra cards. Um, very interesting dynamic when you draw two and you, you pick one for yourself and pick one for the other player. So, yeah, that's definitely an interesting option. And got lots of grassland birds here. Um, Cowbird and Meadowlark, both potentially quite nice, but don't really have the right nest type to support those. Um, and the Kiwi is interesting, but it depends a bit on the bonus card. Speaking of which, we'll take a look. Okay, Rodentology is probably the keep there, even though we don't have anything obvious uh, for that. We'll take a look at the tray, of course, as well. Hmm, much of the same story there. Lucili bunting again, nice, with the extra eggs, but don't really have, yeah, the cup nest there, so. I wonder if this might just be keep the pinkhead duck, play that, and start drawing and see what comes up. Emu, I feel like that's not quite such a great option here. Um, yeah, oh, I don't know, maybe I do keep the kiwi. Maybe I do keep that just as a backup. Um, I could probably do something like this, maybe like this. Um, play the duck, start drawing cards, see what comes up, and then, yeah, we have to play. Uh, if we have to play Kiwi later because we get another bad bonus card, or maybe we don't find any room to just birds, I think that works out. Cowbird, yeah, I would really like to to keep that, but... Um, yeah, I don't know, I just, it's, uh, it feels like a bit of a gamble when you don't... When you don't necessarily have um, the nest type, and I probably would rather keep an extra bit of food... Um, at the start here, so yeah, I think um, I think we'll lock that in. We'll lock that in, and hopefully, like I say, this pink kid duck, this should be able to get us something good. Uh, we'll play that, and we'll start drawing cards, and see what we can get from that. All right, here we go. Onto our first turn, opponent just kept the one bird. So okay, maybe they've not got quite such a good start either. Um, but yeah, we'll play the duck, and I think I was thinking about this. I think we'll do this. We'll keep the We'll keep the nets, we'll keep the worm. I think those are the most flexible foods. Um, you know, they both work for the kiwi if we need to play that. But yeah, I'm sort of hoping, hoping that, you know, for a few turns of drawing, I'll be able to find something. Maybe I just go for that condor as a cheap forest option or, or something to get down. But we will see. They're going to go for American Bittern. So might get some more cards from that as well. Um, but that, of course, was there any birds. So we will see what uh, comes of that. But yeah, we are going to draw less a white throat. That's a good find. Um, definitely don't mind that. Or getting some eggs going. And yeah, do we go Condor? I'm going to leave it. I'm going to leave it. And you know what? I think that's okay because we've now found a couple of nice Rodentologist birds. So I will be quite happily giving my opponent this tree creeper. I feel like that's one that was quite good in uh, European expansion gameplay, but not so much anymore. Uh, with eggs being so hard to come by, so um, yeah, Kingfisher, I can easily get that down, um, and that's going to help out a lot playing some of these other birds too. So we'll give them True Creeper. There we go. That was a good. Uh, that's a good start. Found the birds we want, um, and I'm definitely definitely thinking here I can do something very quickly this round. Playing the Kingfisher, play the Owl, play the White Throat. Definitely going to be key to get this down this round. Uh, yeah, get the get the free eggs. Coming through off the, the teal power. Um, so yeah, might even uh, might even just work with this. Maybe draw cards once more. Um, we'll kind of see, I'm assuming, as I say, this bittern will get a bit of usage. Uh, we'll get some free cards coming through from that. So that might help out as well. But for now at least, uh, yeah, we can look at getting things going. So could even now actually <laughs> could go for the double play. Um, six turns left. Is there enough time to get all of this down? I think there potentially could be. Um, so yeah, I will. I will take. I will take the king left. And okay, well, there's not going to be enough time to get it all down because I'm going to have to pick those up now. Buffin <laughs> is a is a must grab, and Warbler's very very nice as well. So we'll take those. And okay, that is a bit more what I'm talking about. But do we actually go for the kite here? I, I really don't want to have to give uh, give the great tit away. Um, because it is very, very good, but 
black shoulder kite could be could be a good one here, especially with this end around. Um, do I want to take that gamble um, on uh, <laughs> on that kind of power? Uh, it's good to get the eggs for the center round. So yeah, how how would I play this? I could play the Kingfisher. Still got four turns, so probably take food. Mm, take food, play the kite, lay eggs, then play the white throw. Definitely risky. Um, definitely risky. But I suppose I don't know if I give them the great tip, <laughs> is that going to make them take more food and hit my Kingfisher? I might regret this, but I'm going to give them the great tip. So. We're going to go all in on this Rodentologist. Already got a few good birds for that. And um, yeah, Puffin brought another bonus card as well. So I think, uh, yeah, I think I'll play this. I'll play this Kingfisher now. Um, start taking some food. I imagine they're going to want to start taking food, especially after getting uh, such a nice present as, uh, yeah, they're great too. But they're going to play Condor first. So, okay. That actually works out nicely for me because now I'm almost certain that they're going to take food. Um, so I can prepare for that by playing uh, the Kingfisher. So I think I think that does go down in the forest here. And I think, I think we use a worm on that. Um, and then, yeah, if we do get a free worm or rat from the Kingfisher, I can use a rat there or a worm there. And then hopefully get a bit more nectar for some flexibility. So... I think that's how I'll, uh, I will play this out. But yeah, this this end around this could be could be an interesting dynamic to work with um, with the eggs in the eggs in the platform. But there we go. They did take food, and they are giving us something. So I think uh, yeah, I think I definitely want to get this down. I'm sort of in two. Uh, two frames of mind here, whether I do play this or, or, or whether actually I've got enough to work with elsewhere. Um, I think I'll take the worm either way. We can go and grab food here. And hope for more next, we do indeed get that. So okay, yeah, we've got some options. Um, we've got some options. I'm sort of thinking of playing this just because it does help for this end around, and if it hits. It'll win us the end of the round, which is uh, is maybe a, a bit of a gamble, but it could be one that pays off. And then, yeah, we can still go ahead and play um, this white throat as well, which I think will be good. So um, they drew cards. They didn't use the bitten, so a little bit of mind games there, perhaps. But okay. Um, yeah, I mean, the alternative, to be honest, as well is to... Just use this out, but I I'm going to play the kite. We're going to we're going to go for the gamble here. Let's see, see how that works. I mean, I don't know. Is there a chance they take food again? Probably not. If they do, and I get another worm, um, I could still do that double play, and that gets me even more eggs. What are they doing, Sister Cola? Oh, okay. Didn't see that coming. Um, right. Well. <laughs> They could be able to benefit of that. And they're going to win the end of round goal anyway, so... Kite not really mattering too much here. Um, but yeah, definitely we'll want to get this down <laughs> to pick up some free eggs. But we'll play... or lay eggs here, I should say. Kite, are you going to hit? Yes, you are. There you go, you can have a wrap. And I'll take my three eggs. Thank you very much. So that was a good start. Um, yeah, so what do they do? Do they just lay eggs twice here? That might not be the worst option, but yeah, this this is this is an interesting approach. I I really thought they might go for the the great tit, so I definitely feel less bad about giving that to them. Uh, given that it effectively takes two turns of taking food now to get that down, so um, that is going to be a bit of a slower one. Um, and yeah, we have got some very nice options. So I might miss that brown power. I might miss not having that extra food coming through, and we're definitely going to miss be able to get hold of these eggs so yeah a bit of a shame but uh, we'll get our white throat down and yeah we can uh can start to clear up here they're going to win the end around got anyway um even if they play another bird they got the okay they can so the more we can clear those eggs off the kite 
then if we do choose to lay eggs again at some point later, it, uh, yeah, it will have some space. It will have some space to work with, but um, yeah, I feel like this is just going to be a game about playing some of these big point birds, so Warbler nice, Puffin, Owl, and Kiwi all for the bonus cards, also nice. And yeah, if I can get another free worm, I can hopefully do a double play in the forest. That's going to be really good, but my opponent there taking food. Fine by me, we'll get our eggs down. And yeah, come here into round number two. An interesting tray. Another pink power. Um, and another Rentologist bird. Purple Martin, also quite nice. Let's see if my opponent goes for that, but um, yeah, I have a feeling they... They might want to go for food, they might want to try and get some more birds down, so I'll say if they do do that, we're we're well prepared. Um this double play, I think this will be good. Get some more eggs through that white throat. Um we can definitely focus on the forest there, but they're trading cards, completely wiping the tray. So we'll take Sace Phoebe. Not too bad. Um not too bad. We could have quite a few cup nests here. We've got um yeah, a lot in the hand for sure. So I uh, want to keep an eye on. Um, do we draw cards here ourselves? I think maybe we do. I think maybe we do. We're going to get some nice rodentologist options. And a mute swan. Okay. Well, that is definitely very nice looking. You can have Spotted Sandpiper, my friend. Um, that could be a good option. That could be a good option. Put that in the wetlands with the falcon. Start drawing cards. We're not going to need to worry about eggs with the white throat and with this bunting as well so yeah as I say that could work out nicely especially if we're going to get some free food coming through like this tempted by the rat but I think here I'm going to take a, I'm going to take a worm I'm going to take a worm because I think I say I do want to go and try and do this double play first so we'll do that we'll take food actually but it's not going to matter because we can throw and do that and then yeah, we can we can double play in the forest, start clearing out some of these egg spaces, maybe take food again, um, play these wetland birds down, and then we're going to be looking good. There we're going to be looking good, so we'll have a bit of an engine going, and maybe some free food as well coming through. So blue throat going down, and we'll get ourselves ready for um, yeah, so maybe free eggs as well. So. We'll play these, uh, and I think, yeah, keep those egg spaces empty in the forest. Might be tricky with, uh, as I say, with these free bunting eggs, but my opponent, they've not got, you know, they've got loads and loads of egg space here um, to be able to keep using this bunting forever. So, yeah, we, we hopefully can keep up with that and maybe uh, with some additional Starness support. It's going to help out, but it's going to help out for them as well. So, Reckless Girl goes down. Yeah, I didn't really see that coming, but... Okay, well, that's going to be fun. And maybe that's why they blocked the pink power as well earlier. Uh, we're going to take food here, though. We're going to take food. Hopefully get some nectar, which we do. And now, do we... Do we sacrifice? Do we sacrifice? And if we do, what do we sacrifice? I, I definitely want to keep... Puffin is so good. Snowy Owl with the bonus card as well. Let's hit him Rintologist. Maybe I have to get rid of the Sace Phoebe, but that's just such a big point bomb later. Um, and yeah. White No Power Birds as well, if that last in around goal could, could come into play. Let's think about this. We've already got three Cup Nests down. That'd be four, five, six. Yeah, I think that's too good to get rid of, to be honest, so... Um, we'll keep it for now. We'll keep it for now. And yeah, I mean, I might be okay. I suppose if the blue throat, I suppose it doesn't matter what food that gives me, I can feed that on the wild food cost for the swan. So that would definitely be the plan. But yeah, I think get these two down. Get these two down, start drawing cards. We can you know, get four points a turn. If I'm giving three cards to my opponent here with gold, don't think that matters too much, so... Um, yeah, we just play these, start drawing cards. Already got some good stuff in our back pocket, but I think we're just going to have to benefit from some of this free food that is definitely going to come through here. So, free worm and a free egg. So, yeah, as I say, gotta maybe be a bit mindful of the egg space, but 
I think playing enough birds here, uh, we should be okay in that regard. So we'll get the mute swan down. We can use up these worms. And yeah, Peregrine Falcon will follow us for 40 points already. Um, definitely going to be playing some bombs later, so yeah, would uh, definitely expect that to go up. And really, it's just going to be about the free stuff my opponent gives me. That's where I've got a benefit. They've got a strong, strong grasslands here. Card access, food access, really good egg access, but um, yeah, is it the, the Martin? Is that the other one they picked up? I'm assuming that's what is going to go down indeed. So that's the grass that's capped off. Looking pretty scary. Hopefully we can, yeah, cope with that. Uh, but I think I'm going to play this Falcon in the wetlands. Although, yeah, I think that's okay. Because they are going to give me a free egg, but I think, uh, I think we'll probably throw, we can discard the egg here. Uh, when drawing cards, and I think that's okay. Because we are going to want three cards to tuck under the swan, and at the moment, I don't want to get rid of any of these, so um, that sort of works out. That sort of works out, but yeah, this Rhontologist, this is working out well. Snowy Owl as well is going to help, and we'll see what else we can find on that. But already plenty, yeah, plenty of birds to support with that. So as I say, my opponent, their engine's pretty much done. Ours is just getting started, but we're going to have some nice stuff to play later. And I think that last in a round goal. I think we're going to be well placed. It's it's tight at the moment, but I mean, I know I want to play all four of these. So um, yeah, that will uh, that will no doubt help out. And who knows, maybe we'll find a Benelli's Eagle somewhere down the line with that Rhetologist as well. So there's the free egg. As I said, don't mind it too much. We can definitely clear that out. So we'll do that here. And I'm going to take the three birds in the tray here. It might seem a bit weird, but I need three things to tuck under the swan. So if I draw something good here, I'm going to be missing out. Bob gets a hit, at least get the three tucks. Under swan, very nice. And there, that's maybe an example of, of something that would have been very nice that I would have wanted to keep safe. So. Pink and duck, we will use that. Maybe... Yeah, I mean, you can have that, to be honest. Because um, if I play that, you're just going to not have worms. Um, the pigeon could be something. If we can get uh, a lot of free food coming through, and they're not going to know that we have this. So there we go, you can have that. And yeah, we do turn this end around. That's kind of okay. I wasn't really looking too closely at this. Uh, but we will get our four eggs, so that's quite nice. Off the white throw. We might have a bit of work to do on that. Um, as this rest of the game plays out. But here we go into round number three. We've got more Rhentologist birds in the tray. Which could tempt me. Especially if it's another egg on the six Phoebe. Um, but yeah, this Shrike Clash, this could be useful. Chaffinch could also be useful, depending on how many cards we're going to have. Uh, but I think, yeah, I do think I want to draw cards here. So we're going to keep throwing eggs to get more. Another nice big point bird. And yeah, I think we'll take uh, take the burrowing out here. No, we'll take one more. Okay. That might come in handy. Hmm. What do I want to play in this wetlands? Puffin has to go down there. <laughs> uh, right, you can get tucked. I think you can as well. And yeah, to be honest, maybe this is a uh, wishful thinking. I have got a lot of expensive birds to play. So not necessarily have too much uh yeah, extra food for that. Yeah, do we go for this golden eye? Would be nice, but might just create more egg egg problems. Um I think it's I think it's worth keeping at least. And do I take the burrowing owl? Do I take the chaffinch? I think I'll take the burrowing now. And okay, cool. You can have a ready duck. <laughs> I don't think that's going to be much use to you. So okay. Um, right. Yeah, I think... Um, gee, how is this end around looking? It's quite tight. How distracted do I want to get? Not very, but... I've um, got to work out what's going to go down. I think I might want to play this warbler um, in the forest just to get more food going then yeah we can look at uh, some of these other birds I definitely want to be playing these other bonus card birds Ooh, rough 
Oh, they're giving a nectar. That's very generous. Um, okay, we'll start putting these up here, and I think we're gonna we're gonna rely on uh, using that white throat in other habitats as this game plays out. But yeah, okay, that rough. I mean, would be guaranteed eight points to them. Would be guaranteed eight points to me. I don't know if I want to draw cards again this round though. Maybe I do. It's still uh, it's still points. Yeah, let's let's pick it up. I think I do have to. I do have to draw cards and block that, so House Rem might be useful. I think... <laughs> it's just too much good stuff to play. I think, actually, this Burrowing Isle is probably not going to go down. Um, yeah, I think all of these are, are better options. And the House Rem, if I'm going to go with this Golden Eye, that will also come in handy. So we'll pick up we'll pick up the Rough. Didn't necessarily know if I'm going to play it. Find a Raven. Okay. Um, that could actually work. Wetlands Raven here could actually work. Um, Butcher Bird is also tempting, but yeah, I think I'll give um, I think I'll give away the Butcher Bird. And I'll keep the Raven. And yeah, we can. That probably means no gold nine, but we can definitely. I think if we if we play Wetlands Raven, we're going to be using up these eggs that we need to clear out so we can use the White Throat. Um, and we've got so many big point birds to play that all that food, yeah, it's definitely going to come in handy. So, not a bad play. Chaffinch goes down. That would be interesting with their extra cards. We're going to take food, however. Hope for lots of nectar. There we go. And I think we can get rid of... Oh, maybe we do. Maybe we can still get the rough in, but maybe we get rid of the golden eye. As I said, probably not uh, going to make too much usage out of that. Uh, we'll take... Uh, do we want to take a fish? I think we'll take a fish. And now we can get this raven down. So yeah, gotta think about this. So we'll play play Raven, draw cards. Could still get the rough. I don't know if we're gonna have necessarily enough cards. I think uh, I think I wanna be playing some of this other stuff. So we're gonna get free food. Which I don't mind. I think I will need every bit of free food, even with this raven. Um, I'm going to need as much free food as I can get uh, to be able to play, yeah, all of these birds. So uh, maybe, maybe we get the, maybe we get the puffin down actually. With the extra egg off the white throat, and maybe the extra cards as well. And then final round is play owl, play Sace Phoebe, play kiwi, and maybe play uh, prosthetry warbler as well. Yeah, I just don't think... I don't think I'm going to have enough time for rough. And I don't necessarily think I need to play it, because I've already got lots of good stuff. So, um, They've gone to play the Butcher Bird, so they're definitely benefiting from all the stuff I'm giving them. I think they're going to win the center round. That's fine. Um, and yeah, maybe... Maybe going to keep taking food. And get more tucks on their challenge, but... And we're going to draw cards. We are going to draw cards. Find some other nice stuff. Uh, we'll use our Raven, get some Nectar. Falcon's going to hit, very nice. Yeah, too late for the Swallow, I think, for sure, at this point. Again, would have been nice earlier. Uh, but yeah, keep getting these tucks off the Mute Swan, very nice. And I might actually not use this anymore. I think I'm going to skip this. I'll make an executive decision. I'm going to skip. Because I think, at this point, every extra card I give them could be a Chaffinch Tuck. Could be an extra food. I'm kind of good. I'm kind of good on, you know, on... Uh, <laughs> on birds, so um, I think yeah, I think I'm not going to need it I think I'm not going to need it but it looks like they are taking more food, so trigger my Kingfisher again we'll take more worms need that, definitely for the Sace Phoebe, definitely for all this other good stuff, so yeah, we'll grab grab you for sure and yeah, I think we'll play our Puffin so clear out some more egg space. What are we going to get on the bonus card? Oologist, I think, is very much achievable. Even if we're not laying eggs, um, because we will have... Um, yeah, the white throat, we're going to have, of course, says Phoebe. And yeah, closure builder. I will be able to get at least four off that, but I think... Yeah, I mean, they'll use their Lazuli Bunting as well, to be fair, so... Um, I think... 
I think you're all are just... I think that'll be fine. So, good pickup. Yeah. Definitely looking good on the score. Like I say, final round is probably... It's probably cards twice, and then... Owl, Phoebe, and Kiwi as the plays. And I think that works quite nicely. And definitely will work out for the end of round as well, so... Um, there we go. Great Horned Owl. I would have liked that. They're, uh, they're playing lots of big point birds here. We'll take our free eggs, though. Courtesy of the white throat. So very nice there. And we're coming to the last round. See, so, yeah, as I say, quite straightforward, I think, for us here. Uh, we just want to get as many of these down as possible. Maybe something to think about in terms of the order, just to make sure yeah, we're getting the Phoebe eggs, but also to make sure that we're not blocking the white throat. I do want to use that in the wetlands, and we have. We have got this egg staring at us, so maybe we play... Yeah, maybe we play Phoebe and then and then Kiwi. I think we're going to miss out on an egg either way, but I definitely want to get the Snowy Owl down before the Kiwi, so I can see another bonus card. And uh, yeah, if it's terrible, <laughs> we can always discard it there, because I kind of want to keep both of these, but... We shall see. But there we go, Blue Throat giving us... More free foods, giving us fish now when we don't need it, so thanks for that. Uh, we'll take a free egg as well. And yeah, start drawing some cards. Is the Ash Throat did fly catch a better? No, it's not. Chiff Chaff would have been nice. Again, maybe a bit earlier. And okay, um, yeah, so I think, I think Wetlands is the way. So if we draw cards twice, we'll clear out two eggs, we play birds, yeah, we should be fine. So start taking some nectar. That could have been quite fun. Um, as a bird to play, double quail. Yeah, Flycatcher is, is not as good as Sace Phoebe here. Um, it's, it's actually not far off. Um, yeah, we have got we have got three Cupness down versus two Cavities, and I mean... I suppose this could be another Cavity. But this would be... Uh, this is an extra point already, so I think... Uh, Right, do you know what? we'll keep it we'll keep it because I think there are, there are other birds we can get rid of for sure so we'll get rid of those take our tux yeah skip that okay so I think we can oh, I might need one more free food from them which I'm sort of assuming will come through either from the blue throat or from them taking food but yeah I can play I can play the owl now at the very least um, three worms for here and then if I get another free food yeah that'll go towards the kiwi so that will be definitely good and yeah if I can Maybe get uh, another free... Oh, okay, here we go. Free seed, that's going to help. Free egg, put you up there. Um, yeah, if I do get another one, I think being able to play this house run as well could be quite nice, but we'll hold off for now because we don't quite know for sure if we'll get to use that, but so now we are going down. Clear off here. What is the bonus card going to be? <laughs> it's going to be a solid, just okay. We've got too many good bonus cards. This could be a difficult... Uh, Difficult decision on uh, the Kiwi. Take a free egg though through Snowy Owl. I think we're fine to stick it here. So, yeah, no complaints. <laughs> it's okay, a good bonus card like that, but I don't know. Maybe Kiwi. Maybe don't play Kiwi. Like, is that. Is, is Kiwi. Kiwi versus Painted Bunting could be an interesting. and a very interesting call. Um, because yeah, I don't really want to have to discard what's basically going to be a six-point bonus card. Um, maybe, I don't know, maybe even... Is it possible to play the, the Bunting instead of the Phoebe? We've got some decisions to make, for sure. Uh, we'll take another free food, though, so I think... Yeah, I think we can manage that. I suppose the question is, if I play... If I play Bunting and Kiwi, does that scupper me on Uologist? I think I'm probably still okay. Because, uh, what would it be? I lose three eggs, so I go down to four. But then I get 
five in the wetlands, so yeah, it would still be able to hit that. Hmm. That might be worth it. It might be better to play Painted Bunting um, than play the Kiwi. But it's definitely hard to know. Uh, yeah, or yeah, or maybe I don't know, maybe it is better than playing the Phoebe even. Like I said, still gonna hit a Ethologist, so I could I could go I think I could go painted bunting and Kiwi. Um and maybe still double play into it. I don't know. I suppose actually when I draw cards here I'm gonna I'm gonna lose an egg, so if they if they play birds twice Um with with all that food it seems very likely. And I think they're gonna want to play wetland stuff with that nectar. Hmm. Yeah, this is uh, this is a little bit harder than I appreciated. So I think this has to go down. So even if I play this in this spot, five points for playing the birds, I get one egg off that, two, three, four, five, and then probably a sixth. Minus two eggs to play. It's still a nine point play. So I'd need like seven bonus points. Off, uh, off either of these to make that worth it. I suppose I've got this as well, which is a, a safer play. Um, and even this, could I actually play that? Could I play Flycat? I think that maybe that would screw up the um, the white throat a bit too much, but that could be an option. I think I need to draw cards either way, though. Uh, yeah, I think I need to draw cards here, so we'll do that. Starling is interesting. We'll take Nectars. And no, we we'll want to keep you. <laughs> Definitely want to keep you. Um, who knows, maybe maybe something amazing will come up here. No, never mind. Okay, we'll skip that as well. So, okay. Six eggs left, so yeah, if we play two birds, we'll see, I mean, I don't know. I suppose it could be, it could be a double play they've got lined up. So maybe they will lay eggs once more. We'll see if they lay eggs here. I think it's unlikely, but never know. Okay, Trump just wants yeah. They're gonna play one more. Might be a nice bonus card play. So we've got to work this out. We've got to work this out. So yeah, as I said, I think CCB has to go down. Um, I think that has to go down, at the very least, just so that I score the Orologist. I suppose, actually, there is a line of thinking that says, screw Orologist, get rid of that with the Kiwi um, for another bonus card. And Painted Bunting as well. Are we looking on the white notepads? Okay, we are going to be fine on that. I'm just trying to work out if I need to do this double play or not. Because um, if I can avoid it, it saves me eggs. Yeah, the problem uh, problem with Kiwi is that I really don't want to... I really don't want to discard any of these. What I could do, I suppose, maybe I play Painted Bunting. And if the bonus card is terrible, I can play Kiwi. But then I suppose that means I'm going to miss out on Oologist. I think I have to play this either way. I don't... I don't think I can play Phoebe and Kiwi here. Just thinking out loud. I don't think that's going to work. So we'll play the Painted Bunting. I think I can do it like that. Get rid of an egg from down here. And okay. Kiwi would work for large bird. But Stace Phoebe would work for food web. And so would House Red, actually, to be fair. So that could work as a double play then. But would that. No, that would then. Oh no, that I, I think I would be okay on Uologist. Um, because I'd have one egg left. Yeah, so I could... Oh, man. <laughs> so I could take food web. And I could play house run into Phoebe and get loads of points. Or I can take large birds. I can play Kiwi, get rid of Oologist, and look at four more bonus cards. 
I think uh, I think this makes more sense. I think this makes more sense. I think that is still fine because, yeah, I'd have the three in the forest. I'd have the two in the grasslands as the cup nests with the eggs on, and then the five in the wetlands. So, yeah, we'll go with that. <laughs> we'll go with that. Too many options this end game. Um, like I say, kiwi, kiwi could have been a fun one, but. I think this is going to work out okay, and hopefully it's going to be enough. But my opponent, they have a lot of big point birds as well. They've got a lot of eggs. Like I say, I'm sort of expecting... I'm expecting something like a Woodstalk to go down here uh, for one more bonus card play. It's a Rybill. Okay, what did I just discard? Large birds would be potentially quite good for them. Um, good thing I didn't get rid of the Urologist, because that would have been a very easy uh, set of points for them. But yeah, I <laughs> I can't remember what else I got rid of, so maybe a bit of a surprise. But we'll play um, our house friend, and yeah, we, so we've got to get rid of one here. Got to get rid of one here. And then we play says Phoebe. We get rid of these two. Well, actually, I suppose no, we can't. I was going to say we could uh, just lay in the in the wetlands, but we do it like this, and then we don't hit lay all because we want to leave. Uh, we want to leave the puffin empty so we can use the white throat so that was a nice play lots of points and we can get a few more here go to the white throat so nearly filled the board would have been nice win their end around goal though so that is also nice and uh, yeah I think we did do some damage on the nectar so being able to play that double play at the end in the grass since that definitely helped there winning that nectar and we were so far ahead um, on the wetlands as well so coming out ahead there is very nice and we'll see what that means going into the final score so yeah I think both players we're both going to have a lot of birds down so um, I'm hoping we can pull a bit of a lead two behind hopefully on these bonus cards we know we've got a lot of good ones looks like our opponent had some good ones as well though so it's pretty close through the end of round goals as I said they got a lot of eggs but we did pick up quite a few there in the end game so it is going to come down to how many tuck cards were we able to get off that mute swan with the next points as well, I think this will be enough, and it is. What a high-scoring game. I didn't realise we were scoring that high. 141 to 135. Um, that was a lot of fun. That was a lot of fun. We'll take a look at my opponent's board and their bonus cards. Okay, yeah, they did have some very nice ones. Two sevens and a six. Rybill doing the business at the end there. But yeah, I think we just made uh, made the most of the free food and the free eggs that were coming through. I think that's what you got to do when there's co-op. Um, always tough up against the Franklin's goal, even on these Oceania boards. But Wetland Raven, I think that worked out nicely. So, yeah, we had some strong bonus cards. Definitely some difficult decisions at the end. Would have liked to be able to play this Kiwi, but yeah, when uh, your bonus cards are too good, makes it a difficult decision. But big scores and a fun game. Hopefully, you enjoyed watching that. I definitely enjoyed playing it. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for watching. And uh, yeah, I hope to see you again very soon in another video.